everybody and welcome back to Maisie's Garden. I have a message for you. Guys, it is a new moon. It is November 1st and we are in a Scorpio new moon. So these are going to be your new moon messages. We're going to pull to see um, what kind of energy we're going to have for the next two weeks as we build up into the full moon. Um, as it being, you know, I do the modality. So this is going to be for the cardinal signs. So if you have Aries, if you have um, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn, anywhere in your chart, this message may resonate for you. Or if this message resonates for you, it may be for you. If it doesn't resonate, go check the other signs of your chart. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to see here. I am going to start it a little bit differently. This time I'm going to use the doors because the new moon, they say, is like planting seeds. Um, that you build up to the full moon. So let's see what kind of door we should be going through. Especially since it's the first of the month, I feel like that could be like a new door. So I don't know. I'm just getting pulled to use the divine doors. So again, this is, uh, this is for the cardinal signs guys. And, um, don't get scammed. This is my only account and I hope that you're doing well. I love you so very much. Okay. Spirit, tell me about the cardinal signs for the new moon in Scorpio. Tell me about the cardinal signs for the new moon in Scorpio. That is way too much. <laughs> tell me about the cardinal signs, please. Thank you. I got a walkabout. Um, so when I get this card, I don't know if you guys can see it. When I get this card, it is a, it looks like an abandoned uh, house, very dirty, needs to be cleaned out. It says you discover your path in a sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. In indigenous lessons, you find the will to survive. So th there may be something about indi uh, indigenous people or some type of lesson they're very nature minded. They connect with the earth. Uh, they move with cycles. Um, they're um, very like they do a lot of holistic type things. So that may be something that com may come up in the next couple weeks for for you. And then this next door, which ooh, it's a very foreboding door. It says change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. All right. So you may be, uh, there may be something going on where um, you may get some type of sacred knowledge or something that changes the way that you're seeing things. Okay. It changes the way that, uh, you're seeing things or it, it helps you change the direction that you've been going in or maybe it makes the direction a little bit more clear for you. Um, connecting with the earth may help with this, especially if you have earth placements, which Capricorns are. All right, Spirit, tell me about this Scorpio new moon. Tell me about the Scorpio new moon for the cardinal signs, please. We have full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that went flying. I'm going to have to get that. I also have take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Let's go see what went flying oh oh my god come on all right sorry about that all right let's see Ooh, a fiery climax approaches this is the full moon in aries which we had back in libra season so something may have started back then um and you may, you may start seeing a culmination in the next couple of weeks of that energy. Um, there's definitely, again, there's definitely some type of either information or um, 
you get some type of answers or you finally something like clicks you finally get some type of like it says conclusions right there may be something that happens in the next couple of weeks that that help you um, like answer a few things that helps you um, finally be able to move forward in a way that you're able to take action. A fiery climax approaches. Um, whatever these conclusions are, whatever these answers that you may be getting or whatever, um, whatever information that comes to light for you, because that's what this feels like, it may come about after something comes to a head or... Um, It kind of feels like things may get worse before they get better. And then within that, you you find something out or you figure something out either about yourself, about somebody else, or about a situation. Uh, take time to breathe out. They really want you to take moments for yourself, especially with the fiery climax approaches. Uh, the energies may be really, really intense for the next couple of weeks building up to the full moon for you. So... During these next two months, you're really going to need to take time for yourself. Take time to ground yourself. Maybe that's why there's something about like the earth or connecting with nature uh, may really help. That may also help with the answers that you seek for whatever this situation is. It's definitely some type of change is going to happen for you, cardinal signs. All right. Spirit, tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this energy for the new moon for the cardinal signs. Deep diver, beneath the surface lies true wealth. Yeah, hidden information. I'm telling you, there's something. You're gaining information about something. You're... It's either that or it's you finally, like, overcoming... I don't want to say overcoming it's like finally unearthing um something that you may have already known or it's it could be some type of knowledge that um you may intuitively get uh but you needed to like unblock yourself first or it's it, what it feels like is like maybe things have been a little chaotic and you really haven't had the time to really ground yourself so that you are getting the messages clearly that you need. Um, and you may do that with Deep Diver here. You may, uh, maybe you're doing a little bit of shadow work. Maybe you're doing a little bit of, um, or a lot of, uh, you know, like meditation or just looking deeper into something. And that's where this knowledge, this information, these conclusions, um, but whatever this is, it really, it does seem a little intense. It does like bring things to a head. So there's an air of you needing to keep like calm or like a calm head or like uh, not let your temper kind of like I'm seeing like blowing a gasket. It's like, you know, like not letting yourself get that far. Or if you do start feeling like you're kind of starting to get up there, um, doing some techniques to kind of bring yourself back down or, or, you know, grounding yourself. A lost opportunity is returning. Interesting. Um, there's some type of reset button that's happening for you. I'm telling you, whatever this information is, it like it does. It changes something for you. And so you'll be able to start moving in a different direction. It is time to leave the past behind. If you've been uh, wondering um, or reminiscing or maybe you've been feeling a little nostalgic uh, or thinking, did I make the right decision? Did I, you know... Um, Is the past always going to haunt me? You know, something along those lines. Um, it's time to surrender to that and allow, like, the past just to be the past. You may be doing some type of reflection or looking over some things from the past. And maybe now, looking in hindsight, 
that's where you're going to like gain that information or understand something a little bit better. I have super moon. You will emerge triumphant in the end. Yeah. What, whatever comes to head, you will end up being uh, like victorious or, um, you know, uh, like being successful in whatever this is. Especially if an opportunity is coming back around and you're going to need to leave some things in behind, whether that's old patterns, outdated thinking, um, you know, ways you used to operate, people that aren't supposed to move forward with you, whatever it is, uh, you will be able to release that or you will be able to overcome that if you're struggling with it. And then I have Moon Dancer. A time of celebration is at hand. Movement celebration. Uh, this may be a way to ground yourself. Um, is to you know dancing. I saw like uh, like a, especially with if you have indigenous background by any chance. There may be like a fire dance or something like you know dancing around a fire. Especially since a lot of people do like fires at night during the fall time. A lot of like bonfires and all that stuff. That, that may really ground you or help you during this time. Um, so that may be something that either you're going, you look into or uh, something that you could start doing. If you've been struggling to leave the past in the past, you will overcome it. Um, there just may be something there that like either you're not understanding or there's a lesson there that maybe you just didn't fully integrate that you are going to need to fully integrate in order to move forward. And I see you kind of doing that in the next couple of weeks. And then it's like things kind of move into a more fun time. Later half of November may feel less intense for you. You may feel a lot lighter. Moving into like Sag season may feel a lot lighter for you. All right. Spirit, tell me more about this for the cardinal signs. For this new moon in Scorpio. Yeah. Movement. Eight of Wands. There's either some type of communication or you're going to be moving forward. You're it, This is like taking action uh, towards something. Especially if you're trying to, if you're trying to leave things behind, if you're trying to go towards um, some type of, you know, opportunity that comes back around, some type of second chance. You may feel like you get some type of second chance at life or, um... And with that fiery climax approaches, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be like a bad or troublesome thing. Things just may get really, um, things may just like really ignite. That's kind of also how I'm seeing it. So there may be a lot of movement or you may get some type of call to action as well. Interesting. I'm also getting that if you want things to change, if you want, you know, to find the answers that you seek, you're going to have to go looking for them. Yeah, you may have Libra placements, cardinal signs. Uh, justice is here. You're going to be moving into like a much more balanced time for yourself. There may be some kind of, um, there is some type of cycle or karmic contract that you are closing out. You're finding the balance. Things are finally starting to uh, even themselves out. Yeah, there's a level of stability here that's coming in for you. 
but you're going to need to take action towards it, especially if you want it. There's, there's like a call to action here. You're not going to be able... The way that this feels is like spirit's not going to just hand this to you. There's something either you didn't learn or there's just like a deeper a deeper part of the information that needs to be integrated. Or there's just a little bit more work that needs to be done. And you're going to need to take action towards this. Also, they kind of want you to be a little bit fearless. They want you to kind of like release the fear a little bit is also kind of what I'm getting. Especially if you've been letting that hold you back. Especially if there's like a second chance at something or a lost opportunity comes back around. Do not let the fear of, oh, I'm going to, you know, this is going to end up like it did last time or... I'm not meant for this or, you know, feel like fear of rejection or whatever it is, um, fear of it, you know, not working out. Uh, you're going to have to release that in order to be able to move forward and like find stable footing. Whatever this is, there's definitely going to be a celebration. There may be a celebration or a wedding that you're attending at the end of November there's some type of celebration that's going to happen. I'm also getting not to let the opinions of other people really matter during this time. Especially if people are like that with that fiery climax approaches. Especially if people are trying to like either push your buttons or... Or start something, start some type of argument, or like put you in a position where you like you react, um, where you like lose your cool or you lose your temper. That I think that's why that breathe out card is here. Uh, the way that you handle something in the next couple of weeks is really going to set the tone for how a lot of this plays out. And how successful uh, you're you're gonna either gonna feel or you're going to be, especially if someone's trying to pull push your buttons or like they're they're just dead set on misunderstanding you or arguing with you or like always the always like um, it's like always debating whatever you have to say or always just uh how do i put this yeah just like bringing tension or arguments or competition or rivalry in some way somebody may think that they have more power over you because they have money or they have some type of status because of their money or, or what they do, uh, like, as a job or something along those lines. Um, just be weary of that person if that resonates for you. But I really do think that you end up looking very stable, very independent, being able to stand on your own, being very strong. I also feel like this shows you that there's really nothing that you can't handle as well. Yeah, with the sun card ending the spread. If you were going through some type of court case with somebody could be somebody that you were um, connected to with a contract in some way or like financially like there was some type of either like business contract um, you guys were financially tied together so that could be like a marriage or if there's some type of court case and and the case is coming up in the next couple of weeks uh, I think it's going to go in your favor take that however it resonates just make sure you're telling the truth. 
because somebody's definitely going to try to push your buttons and it almost feels like they en like they enjoy watching you kind of get mad or lose your cool. So I think that's why they're emphasizing don't lose your cool because they enjoy seeing that they have that kind of effect on you. Mm. Interesting. All right. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Uh, let me know. Let me know how this plays out. Um, especially like if somebody is trying to push your buttons or things kind of come to a head in a way that it makes it seem like there's a lot of t tension around. Just know that you're you're meant to be successful in the outcome of whatever this is. So keep reminding yourself that and keep grounding yourself during the process. And that's what's really going to help you guys during this time. Okay? I love you guys so very much. And I will see you soon. Bye, Cardinal Signs.